Ooh, what's up? I'm outside. Got my shirt off. It was a little hot today, but anyway, enough about me. Look, I want to make this video. I'm not going to look in the camera. It feels weird just staring at myself. I don't know how to do that. That's why I don't like looking in the camera. But, um, I was thinking, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm watching all these YouTube videos on, on AMC and First off, I had the same complaints when I watched Dogecoin. When I was watching all the new the new Dogecoin guys coming in, like what? And they making channels and they getting huge followings, and they don't know nothing about the stock or the crypto. But they come in like, oh no, dude, I fucking love Dogecoin. Ah, I'm fucking in love with Dogecoin. And then as soon as fucking Dogecoin goes down twenty cent. Here you can hear it. Oh, I love AMC. I love AMCs now. I love it. That's my... I mean... There's nothing wrong to, to like what you like, but... Don't try to trick the people and try to make us think that you're just so in love with this coin and you're a big investor and that you've been... You're going to stick with it. Go through thick and thin. You ain't showed us your, you ain't showed us your portfolio not once. <clears throat> but let me get off of that. That's not about... It's, this, this video is not about one person. Trying to kill flies too. This video is not about one person. This video about like all the different ones. Like all the different channels tell you it's gonna go to the fucking oh it's gonna go to fucking fifty thousand, five hundred thousand, a hundred thousand as possible. No, it's not, bro. No, it's not. You got. I keep saying this in every video. And I keep ranting because I keep seeing it every day. I, I I scroll down my timeline. I watch so much AMC videos that they make sure at the top of my thing before I scroll down to anything, there's some type of AMC video up there. It's an emergency. You must watch now. If you don't watch now, you're going to miss out and you're going to miss it. Let me ask this simple question. Let me propose this to the people. Everyone thinks it's going to go to 100,000, right? If that's what the, these, 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 uh, these Facebook, or not Facebook, these uh, YouTube uh, influencers, we call them. That's what they're telling the people, right? I'm part of the people. If that's what you're telling me, if it's going to go to a fr freaking 100,000, if it's going to go to 1,000, let's, let's, let's say it's going to go to 1,000. If it's going to go to 1,000, wouldn't it still be cheap at 55? Wouldn't people be buying in like every every second if you, if you believe it's going to go to 55? People would be buying in like, oh, I'm going to buy, I'm going to keep buying, right? But, and then if, if that's the case, if 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 we're supposed to just buy and hold and it's supposed to go to a thousand, let's just say a thousand, my thing is this. If it's supposed to go to that thousand, why, I'm trying to get the words out, see? My mind is, it's my mind. If it's supposed to go to a thousand, why okay why is the what is the purpose of you needing to make a new video every day on amc trying to get us to stay in like if we supposed to be holding why do we need a video from you every day telling us about the technical analysis of the day we don't need that if we're freaking supposed to be holding why you got to keep telling what in no other stocks like that do people do technical analysis every day well this is gamestop it's a little different it's a short squeeze happening well, why do I need to watch your video for seven days and no squeeze happen? Then another seven days, no squeeze happen. Then another seven days, no squeeze happen. Then another seven days, no squeeze happen. Then another seven days, no squeeze. I mean, what do you want from us? I mean, I know what you want from us. You want us to keep clicking on your channel. That's why you keep saying it's an emergency or you have to read this now. Short squeeze coming. That's $60 and all of this. I'm not saying when or when it's not coming. I don't know. But I believe they don't either. And they keep telling us that it is, but they don't know either. The government is not going to let certain things happen. And I don't think people understand that. The government is not going to let all of you freaking hooligans who bought AMC at $8 and $2 and bought 1,000 shares and get $100,000. There's a lot of people that bought at, eight, at $2 and at $8 and at $12. You think they're going to let the 4.5 million people at an average 120 million shares, 4.1 million people to average 120 million shares 
that's a hundred i mean the average 120 shares between the four million people which is just the average but if let's just say everyone gets a hundred thousand it's a hundred thousand a share everyone has from 50 to a hundred thousand you just out of your mind if you think the government gonna let that much money go come on man they'll make the company go bankrupt before that happens May and then they just can't pay you. They won't. They're not gonna pay you, mother leffers. They not. Not if it goes that high. If, and it ain't gonna go that high. I'm not even worried about it. I'm not even thinking about it going that high. But I keep seeing videos where people saying it's gonna go that high or that it's possible. Still, who gives a fuck what's, if it's possible? You know it's not gonna happen. Is it possible for me to jump out of my my chair and start flying? Yeah, it's very much possible if I had this, 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 that, 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 this, that. But is it gonna happen? Probably not. All these freaking clickbaits, everybody, all these people. What I don't understand, even trade trades and, and, and all the other ones too. Like what, what do you need to be on every day for? Every day, every day you fucking hyping people up about the, the fucking AMC and this uh, us against the hedge funds. I don't have no nothing against hedge funds. And yes, I am holding an AMC. And yes, I do have... I have put options and I have call options in AMC. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to wake up and then it'll be at 24. Like other things have happened. I went to sleep on Dogecoin. It was at 64. I woke up. It was at 32, 32 cent. I lost damn near my whole portfolio. Like seven, man. I lost a lot. No, I'm not going to do that with AMC. But I'm not here to, I'm not here to tell you nothing about no, 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 uh, no investing my my conversation is not about investing right now i mean it is but and not telling you to or not to my problem is all of these people that these youtubers that come on every single day trying to hype people up to get into something like they know what's happening yeah they go to a hundred thousand if you guys hype it up enough and now well, well, another question i have is i forget the other dude's name i don't know his name but he's he's on he was on fox and they had trade trade on fox Trey Collins, whatever. If Trey trades is an ape, how is he on uh, on TV like that? Like, how they just letting just some YouTuber just get on Fox? Fox is not no freaking rinky dink neighborhood channel where oh yeah, this the neighborhood channel channel two. We got fucking Cal Worthington, fucking selling you a freaking a freaking Mustang. This ain't freaking no local tv this is fox fox international i'm bet i don't know but i'm i'm guessing they would probably would be international fox news you got trey collins on there bro he's got to be getting paid by somebody somebody's got to be paying trey someone has to i know so i don't mean i don't know so i don't let me, let me say that i don't know so but that would be my guess right and then another thing that I, I wanted to say when everyone's trying to make it, oh, yeah, the hedge funds, these hedgies, the hedge funds are freaking wrong. They're freaking stealing money from the people. Hmm, I don't know. Whose money do you think is in these hedge funds? <laughs> just those guys? Just the guys you get to see? Whose money do you think is in there? You got your firefighters. You got your police officers. You got your grandmas. You got your grandpas. You got all of these people. You got your, your moms, your dads, some of you. Their money is in these hedge funds, and you're you're saying, oh, no, no, they they don't need to eat, they don't got it. We're gonna take their money. It's us against the hedge funds. It ain't you against the hedge funds. It's you against your family, people in your family. They, everyone's talking about the transfer of power and the transfer of this and that. I understand that. I understand that, but at the same time. Look like it's a fight getting ready to happen over here. Something like, wow. That's crazy. But the hedge fund, the money in the hedge fund isn't just some regular some guy that some rich some rich guys. A lot of people put their money in hedge funds. A lot. So they, I don't think it's a us against them thing. Everyone's trying to make it personal where it's us against the hedge fund manager maybe or like something like that. You're not realizing whose money is in these hedge funds. So it's not us against them. It's 
freaking how this we we plan the market, but yeah, and I'm I'm in it. But I don't need you. I don't need to be looking at YouTube every day and seeing another video after another video after another video after another video, trying to hype me up and trying to, you know, trying to trying they're trying to make the 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 FOMO come on. <clears throat> they telling everybody it's going to get to a hundred thousand. Why do you, every one of your videos have to say that? You don't know. You just freaking made a channel three months ago, two months ago. You don't know shit. You just talking because you want to fucking get a following. And then everyone is looking at you like, oh, hey, what do you think I'm supposed to do with this thing in here and here? Uh, I'm not a financial advisor, so I wouldn't say that, but I would sell it all. Get the fuck out of here. Everyone thinks that. What the fuck you think? You think just because you say I'm not a financial advisor that if you tell somebody some fucking stupid shit that they're not going to fucking be mad? I told you I wasn't a financial advisor. I'm just some guy on YouTube wearing a hoodie. Get the fuck out of here, man. You guys are fucking idiots, bro. You guys are fucking idiots and you're using people. There's no reason why you guys should be on fucking YouTube every day, fucking every four hours making a video, analyzing, doing technical analysis on the fucking day. What other stocks are you doing technical analysis on the other day or every day? That's stupid. You getting people to fucking who are wasting their time listening to this shit. I know I wasted some time listening to this stupid shit. So I had to think about it like, wait a minute. My mom, if, if I'm I'm alone, I'm, I'm holding this stock. So why would I watch every day? And that's why people sell because they watch every day and then you got we have a bad day and you guys come on and say, Yeah, we have a bad day. Uh like we expected. We expected to go down a little bit and retrace and shut up. Shut up. Just shut the fuck up. You don't know what the fucking market is gonna do. All you do is come on after the fact and tell us shit about what happened. That's it. Oh yeah, the market today. Let's look do some technical analysis. So pretty much, if you stay between this sixty-four level and this this seventy and, and this in this uh, fifty-two level, no, 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 no. You, get, you could just look at the chart and see that. You just look at the lowest point. That's it. And then look at the highest and look in between there. It's, uh, I mean, it's not nothing, nothing hard. You don't need you to come on and spend an hour video doing technical analysis or ten vid or fucking thirty-minute videos doing technical analysis and talking about the fucking GameStop are going live for fucking 20 fucking hours talking about AMC and GameStop. If this is the way the market wants to go, I don't like it. I don't like how this shit goes. I mean, I know we got to promote the stock and promote things to in order for it to grow. But when you're doing false promotion, when you're telling people it's going to go to 100,000, when you know damn well it ain't, that's where the problem is. You know it's not going to go to 100,000. It would be fucking probably not going to even go to 1,000. We could barely get to fucking 75. How the fuck are we going to get to 1,000 or 10,000 or 100,000? Well, we got to wait. The short, the squeeze at the schools. I wouldn't be surprised if all these guys were paid by the hedge funds. All these guys are just telling us to squeeze at the schools. When it, when I, I think, when, and I have this theory in my head. I could be wrong. I definitely could be wrong, but I think that the squeeze has been, I think part of the squeeze has been squoze when we went from that, that, that $10 to $72 within like a couple days. That's a big jump. You don't think no squeeze was in that? Something was in there for it to just keep jumping and them to just let it go. Now it's trying to get to 60. Ain't nobody stopped buying. People still buying. Why they ain't moving no more? Why keep going down? Why they didn't stop it in between the, the five and the, the six, the, between the six, the eight dollar and the seventy two dollar one? They didn't stop it in between that. As far as that from that jump, that jump went. They let that jump happen. So how are they able to stop it now? Oh, the shorts, they're getting scared. They're not getting scared. They're stopping it. If, 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 if that was the case, I've been in this thing for like a month. It was supposed to have been up by now. Oh, the shorts, they have no choice. They're getting scared. And every every day they move the target. The fucking YouTubers move the target. Oh, yeah, the $40 will be a squeeze. $50 will be a squeeze. $55 will be a squeeze. $60, the squeeze is confirmed. Just get the fuck out of here, man. You niggas is fucking... Excuse my language on the N-word. I'm black, so I could say it, but... I mean, that's still not supposed to say it. Whatever, man. But... You guys are you guys are freaking hilarious, man. 
You guys are hilarious. I even see like different channels, even like Meet Kevin. Meet Kevin, I like Meet Kevin's channel. I watch him because of real estate. Now he's on AMC. Everyone's making their channel about AMC and making it making it like, oh, AMC is this and that. And they're acting like they're just like professionals on AMC. That's my only problem is people acting like they're professionals. Like you're not a professional about AMC. That's it. But my food is here, Chinese food. Hello. So I'll talk to y'all later.